Hello all, welcome back. It's lunchtime here after the last uh, sort of vlog we did or video that we put out. Just had some lunch and we've got to get back into it. So if you remember the last uh, video, we ended up getting some bedding in for the cattle and we got some food for them, some basic food. Well, today we've got to continue that. Let's squeeze past the uh, a little messy there. Basically, I was going to um, I was going to lift and shift a lot of this by bucket. However, we're going to bale it up and uh, get this field pretty much flipped and turned around as quickly as possible, which means we're going to have to cultivate because we don't have a direct drill uh, with our little gravel tickler. I like to call it a little dirt dirt back scratcher we've got <laughs> and then we're going to have to plant it as well uh, now if we have a look here we're going to be putting canola in i was going to put some wheat back in the ground but we're going to go canola because we're going to use the crop to make some money and i'm pretty sure the amount of grain we've got in the pit at the moment which is eleven thousand liters should get us through till another harvest or at least until we buy another field to put some grain in the ground We've only got 10 chickens, so we're we're not too bad at the moment. So we're gonna have to get uh, get the back off this now. Let's do that now. Uh, not only that, we're going to have to today. Uh, we're gonna have to look at purchasing a windrower and a tether because we have to get some hay bales made up for the cattle. Um, and I want to do that now. At least want to get them hay. In their feed because it's going to be a while before we get the TMR going. I'm pretty sure. Well, not necessarily. But uh, it is going to be a little bit before we get some of it going. All right, I'll move the uh, trailer out of the way because we're not going to need that at the moment. Okay. Brilliant. I've managed to rectify my steering wheel and microphone issue that I had. It was actually the vibration of the force feedback through the desk going through the microphone. So I've mounted my microphone on a shelf next to my desk. Um, let's park you actually back where you should go for the moment because we're not going to need you just yet. So I can actually put this back in a little garage spot where it belongs. Yes, so last episode I did have to do a lot of cutting and editing just to get out of a lot of the force feedback sound, so I apologize. However, like I said, has been rectified now a little bit. And look, this trailer could probably live um, down under in, down in with the um, harvester there, but I think we can just put it here. We'll be fine. We'll put the cover back on that too. We, got, we really need to get this field turned around. I want to get the crop in the ground ASAP. We're probably going to have to do some liming. Oh, we've got a lot to do. A lot of money, a lot of expenditures, and not a lot in the bank, which might actually have to... We might have to do a contract job. That's probably what it's going to come down to, and we better check if there's any contracts, contracts around town at the moment. All right. Right, and that grass in there should just get converted to straw. Which will be totally fine. I'm, ha I'm putting all faith in the fact... Oh, we're getting on. We're going to go up this way. I'm going to put all faith in the fact that... Um, we can put straw bales straight down on the deck and that can convert into f um, bedding for the cattle. Because any leftover bales that we're not going to use... Or uh, I should have picked that up. We're on. We're going. We're not going. Yeah, any leftover bales, let me finish that sentence, are going to be sold off to make money for us. Okay, so there's bale number one. All right, this thing does take its time. It's quite slow. So the sooner we can upgrade this old timer, the better it's going to be. Come on, buddy. That's how long it takes to drop a bale out. Ooh-wee. So we're going to get pretty quickly into a time lapse today purely because it's probably going to take me a little bit to get all this straw off the ground. I'm better off almost um, buying some, buying a square baler, aren't I? Just one that keeps shoving them out the back. A hard speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire 
We are close to the end. Now, in the comments section down below, I want you to guess how many bales you think we're going to have uh, made today. Uh, because I'm not going to bring up the counter, and I'm not going to tell you until next episode. You can try and do your best to calculate how many you uh, how many we got, and potentially you might figure that out in how many I move. But i'm not going to i'm going to cut out some of this now so we can just jump to the end of this job because i think we've had enough bailing uh for the day put it that way so you can see how many are on the deck now good luck let me know in the comments section down below and uh we'll find out next episode how many bales we actually had right well this is the last little bit here however i don't know if it's at all necessary to drive around and there are some big patches around, but I don't think it's all going to equate to any more bales. I'll do a quick whip around because we can just convert it to throw it into the hay uh, the hay bales. Uh, however, I don't think it's going to be enough to warrant uh, another another straw bale. But uh, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments section down below. I already know how many there are. <laughs> Good luck on guessing yourself. Now... Back to B's niece about here. We need to figure out... Get this last little bit. Oh, we're going to get a fair bit, but we're not going to have enough on the on the deck to uh, warrant another bail. We need to talk about uh, tedding and rowing. We are going to have to contact the shop and see if they have any in stock. Any cheap second-hand ones, mind you. Uh, because uh, I don't think we're going to. You know what? I'm going to take this over to the actual grass field right now. Yeah, it's going to be tough because I don't want to be buying brand new ones off the bat. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, we'll take this over there now. I don't want to be buying brand new ones off the bat because uh, we're not going to be able to afford it. Uh, we've still got to have money to buy seed. And we need fertilizer. And we probably need to put some lime on the ground. We'll have to check all of that sort of stuff as well. Okay. There we go. All right. I wonder how much that field is just next to us. Let's check the price on that field. We are over here. Field number seven. Okay. We're looking at $57,200. Mm, I really would like that field, to be honest. Looks like a good field. We could, it'd just be nice to have an arable crop. 
that we could uh, someone's up there harvesting are they an arable crop that we could keep for the chickens and a field for that and a field um where we could have as a money maker basically in the meantime and then because we've got enough grass fields to keep us going for a little bit i'm pretty sure watch out this holy moly we gotta do our first test here let's stick one of these bales right here inside the cow pen area and see if we get whoa we need him. i forgot to put the weight on all right, we'll just do this first, then we'll put the weight on. We'll also have to get the bale trailer and load that up. But first, let's see if this works. Hey, what do you know? Brilliant. So that should get that stocked up a little bit more in there. And it does too. 11,000. Mm, I'm thinking 20... 30 maybe 40 plus thousand liters of straw i would let hmm. i don't know if we'll fill it all up i don't know if we'll need to fill it all up but we will we'll get it close put it that way um uh, do i want to get the trailer first no what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a bit of a um pick up some bales here and just ferry them in Let's do a few and then the rest we'll probably take and sell i don't think there's uh much in the way of um price good price for straw it might be worth holding on to them for a little bit and potentially holding on to some right i'm just gonna get two more and that'll do us i think that'll do us lewis what i can do i can just pick two of these up at once which is actually brilliant So let's head over here. Got to get my stacking practice in for, um, for stacking the bale trailer. go look at that it just handles it the uh the grass bales are a little bit more dense and probably a touch heavier than the straw bales but we've managed to do it probably not a bad idea to keep some in the hayloft the hayloft is upstairs by the way if you're wondering last time out i didn't mention what it was i checked it it's it's the um Come on, get them off. All right. They've got plenty of bedding. You know what? You know what? Let's just do the right thing and let's top it up and get a full load in them, shall we? All right. Now, this will be the last bale. And the next time we drop some stuff up here, it will hopefully be the hay. 41,000 we could probably track another bale there but look for 16 cattle i mean that's still a fair whack of cattle actually was it, it is 16 is it not 16 of them yeah i think for 16 that should be enough for only 10 chickens with 11,000 liters of feed and whatever they've got in the box there i think we can make it through a couple of seasons i'm gonna hedge my bets that way just so we can get a product in the ground in the ground that we can afford now i'm going to drop this can here go around and pick up the bale trailer and then we'll get it out here and load that up all right the excitement that is loading this trailer I have not <laughs> uh, purely because I wonder if I should put the bale trailer on the combine too while I try and load it up but I uh, guess we'll just see we've still got a fair whack of bales here I don't know how this is going to go this will be time-lapse number two definitely 
you can watch me. This is one of the jobs I've always struggled with in the game. Is um doing round bale work and loading them onto trailers. It's all about kind of just trying to be just a little bit patient with it as well. Alright, what's not going to help is probably the angle our trailer's on too. So I think we'll load them towards the front here. Or maybe I should get the combine and put the combine on the trailer. Beautiful. All right. I don't know how much we're going to be able to stack on here, but we're going to give it a red hot go and see how many we can get on. I'm thinking we can go too wide. And I'm going to try and... Trap them as we go, am I? Just, just because I have a bad habit of knocking them off. So, let's go and, um, let's go and get two on the other side and we can sort of work our way out there. moly it was a real struggle at the start <laughs> and then a real struggle in the middle uh when i couldn't flip that bale back over that was annoying i am gonna try and fit at least two i'm gonna try and fit them all on i want to try and get the other two on the back here so i'm gonna give it a go just off camera because i think that's enough bale stacking look it's been a while since i stacked bales manually you've got to admit that's not too bad a couple little hiccups here and there but all in all, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to know if you had a, you're having a bit of a chuckle in the comments section down below uh, at my misfortune there with that bale that would it just wouldn't get on, and then I tried to flip it over, and boy oh boy, I just could not flip it back over either. Right, I'm hoping that can just sit there. Don't you fall off the back though. That's, that's where I want you.
All right, lucky last. And do you know what? I'm not going to stack the last one on. I'm actually going to put the last one in the cow shed. Uh, purely because we were we were just shy of a full amount of hay in there and we may as well just see how a full load goes. It'll go through it. It'll probably just sit there for a little bit because I won't use it all, I don't think. So we'll just leave it there. And if I need to move it out of the way later, I will. Can you just get off there, thanks? Oh, it did. It used it all. Right. It's not even, it still could even have a little bit more. So probably looking at 44 and a half thousand litres of straw that goes in there for the cattle. Now, the kicker. Can we tell it with how little horsepower we have in this? Getting a bit of dirt built up on this, uh, this puppy to it. It's going to need a, a wash down. All right, all right, Massey, how are we going? Oh, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so let's go and uh, find somewhere to sell these, hey? Who wants to buy my straw? <laughs> Who wants to buy my 42 and, uh, 44 uh, plus thousand litres of straw? Animal dealer. Okay, the grain silo is going to take bale sale at $84. It's going up and up. I wonder if we should wait until the end of the month or... Right here. It's going to drop back down after today. All right. Um, it's pretty much at the end of the day. So let's just take it there. All right. I need to actually figure out where that place is. Can we tag you, please? You will be. Right. You're down here. Not too far away. So we'll come out of our house and we'll take a left. Right. Have you ever seen such a sight? And I think that. Uh, there is a way we can get out that's probably going to be safer. Don't let me forget, gang. We have to put some water. Oh, we're going a bit slower now. We're going to have to put some water in on our trees, on our orchard trees for the apples. Um, we may not have manure yet, but we're working on the manure. And once we get to the orchard watered, we can start uh, getting that thing producing apples. As long as we do it by the end of today, we also need to get some mowing done still. I am very, very well aware of that. Looks like that's just our place there. Lovely and close. However, I don't know if there's an easy way to get there. Oh, we've got potholes galore. <laughs> Holy moly. We're four-wheel driving in our two-wheel drive tractor. Is that a mud bog just there? Let's try and avoid that a little bit. Okay. Indicating. Not waiting for anyone. We're going. Wow, this makes that place really nice and close. All right, big sale of straw bales coming up. Can we go in this way? Yes, we can. I think, however, we probably should have gone in the other entrance. This is an exit. Right. Yeah, I think next time we'll come in the other way. Let's see how we go just here. Oh, yes, that's going to go a long way to helping us out. Thank you very, very much. All right, good news. I just called the shop and $3,850 has come out of our account. We just paid electronically um, to buy our wind rower and our tether. I'm going to see if we can... <laughs> I might actually, you know, might be better to get... No, we'll take this trailer. We'll take this trailer and I'll actually, I should have had my beacon on the whole time. And we'll see if we can load them on here. They had two options for the windrowers actually. They had this six meter, which is a bit more used. Um, but for 1300 bucks. And they had one that was smaller, 
that was about 1800 bucks but in better condition i clearly went for the bigger one in worse condition <laughs> <laughs> uh look we'll just have to do some work on it if it breaks if it breaks or whatever we'll just have to fix it when we can but i think uh i think with the amount of, with the size of the tools we've got at the moment oh which way am i going here left no straight still getting used to town it's not a big town but i'm still getting used to town yeah, I think uh, time is money, like I said before, and it's just taken us a long time now. We've still got to get our field turned around today. I would like to, but it's looking more and more like we're not going to be able to because it's already 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So, here's the deal. We can pick this stuff up and load it on here, I hope. Oh, boy, there it is. It's out and ready. I just come around here like this got no hitch on the back of this i might have to come back and pick it up all right so we can use their forklift i might be able to forklift the wind rower up that we just might have to come back and tow it back all right the keys are in it so that's brilliant Let's see how this goes I'll just park it back in the parking bay for them. That's where they said they want it. All right, hopefully we can get this on here. Brilliant. So that can go on there. I don't know if we will be able to get the other one on. Oh, there it goes. Look at that little tractor. Okay, I'll strap that on now. If I can get the other one on, I will. Lovely. Maybe I can get this on so No, you know what? Uh, to be safe, I'm just going to come back and pick that one up. Right, forklift's back. Yeah, we'll come back and get that, I think. Uh, well... <laughs> the guys in the shop have put it on the back for me. I wasn't game to, but they said, no, nah, no, nah, we'll do it for you. Hey, it's on there. It's going to be nightmarish to get off. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But at least we don't have to make another trip. That's a problem. That's a problem for later. Because uh, what we're going to do is I've got to get the tickler out. And tickle, <laughs> Basically tickle that uh, field. I'm going to see if I can direct drill it. However, I'm not banking on it. Oh, let that bloke's tractor go first. I'm not banking on the fact that I'm going to be able to um, plant... I should have picked up some seed at the same time. Let me go back and get some seed. All right. Let's plonk that there. And we got some lime and we got some fertilizer as well. So that's good. We've we've still got third three thousand in the bank. So actually not too bad with that. Still three thousand in the bank, and we've managed to pick up a wind rower, a um a tether, some seed, some lime, and some fertilizer, which should hopefully see us through on that field out there. Oh, we've got a traffic jam, have we? That looks like my Uber driver that dropped me off just earlier. Right. Pothole time. <laughs> I think it's just easier coming down this way. There's a little bit more room for us when we've got uh, a decent side load, decent size load on here, despite the f despite the uh, potholes. All right, zoom down here, zoom zoom. We'll go straight through the pit. We won't always be able to do that, especially when we get some silage in there. All right, now for the moment, I'm just going to put this trailer just here because we are going to need it to pick up some other hay bales. Now, I am going to um, just check a price on our baler and how much we can get back for it. Okay. So I just checked 
a baler, we probably get about 14 and a half, 15,000 back. However, it's no good because there's no balers uh, available in the square variety that is going to enable us to get, um, to get it. We don't have enough money. Even with the current money we've got in our back pocket, it's not going to be enough with the actual baler itself, and it will leave us very, very short going forward. So, it's going to be a while before we, oh, well, it's not. We're going to be bailing up the gra the hay. So, we're just going to have to stick with it for a little bit. It is what it is. I don't think I'm going to be able to get much of the grass field done today anyway. It looks like it's going to be hay next month. Uh, you're done for the moment. You can actually stay in. Oh, well, actually, I might use you again when I have to uh, load the trailer. Right. Times are ticking down. We are getting real late into the ep into the episode and into today right now. So let's see how this thing goes. It's a decent working width. It's not the greatest, but it will serve a, serve its purpose for us. And we're going at a reasonable speed, so that's not too bad. Right, gang. I'm not going to muck around too much. I need to get this cultivation done. Uh but I doubt we're going to be able to get the planting done today. Here we go. Lovely. Job done. 
That's a big cultivation job and a big job done well. Out of the way. Let's get this thing packed up. Put it away. All right, so next episode, we'll get the fertilizer in and we'll get the seeds in. And uh, then that's a good job done. We will also, next episode... Uh, next episode, we'll go and get that grass cut and we'll get the hay done. We'll be sleeping in between. So once we've uh, once we've planted this field, we'll do a sleep because it's going to be pretty much dark by the time we get that field done, fertilized and seeded. And then what we'll do is we'll... Um, We'll sleep and it might be germinated by then because we are on one month, uh, on one day months. And then we'll probably do another fertilization on that and that'll be it until it needs weeding. And we'll do the grass and we'll get the uh, cows all up to spec and we'll see what contracts we've got around too because we need to make some money and we need to see if any other farmers need some work done this season as well. All right. That's it. I've been Van Ham. Look at how filthy our tractor's getting. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me in today's episode. Please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, let me know in the comment section down below how many bales you think we got. I know exactly how many, and I'd love to know if you kind of worked it out yourself. All right, stay safe. Stay glued to your screen. Get out of here.